Welcome back to the another discussion here. So this particular class I am going to discuss about line divides two points in what ratio? If the division is internal division, ratio must be positive. For external division, ratio must be negative. For external division, you will get ratio negative. For internal division, you will get ratio positive. You know this information, right? So let's see the discussion here. This is a line. That line equation is L is equal to 0. That L is equal to 0 is nothing but AX plus BY plus C is equal to 0. And here there is a point X1, Y1. And there is another point here X2, Y2. These are the two points. Now join these two points. Right? The line divides these two points in the ratio k is to 1. Because we want to find out the line divides these two points in what ratio? This line divides these two points in what ratio? We have to find out. We don't know the ratio. That's why I am assuming the ratio as k is to 1. Right? So, you can find out the coordinates of this particular point or not. That particular point is given by kx2 plus x1 divided by k plus 1 comma ky2 plus y1 divided by k plus 1. We got this particular point. But where this point lie? This point lie on this line. That's why substitute this point in the line equation. Then what we will get? A into kx2 plus x1 divided by k plus 1 plus b into ky2 plus y1 divided by k plus 1 plus c is equals to 0. Therefore, we will get k into ax2 plus ax1 plus k into by2 plus by1 plus ck plus c is equals to 0. Now, observe here ax1 plus by1 plus c from the remaining terms we can take k common then what we will get k into ax2 plus by2 plus c is equals to minus of ax1 plus by1 plus c therefore we are getting the value of k is equals to minus of ax1 plus by1 plus c divided by ax2 plus by2 plus c. This is the ratio we got. K value we got means we got the ratio. So that's what I am saying that k value is equal to observe the numerator x1 y1 point substituted in the line equation. That's why I am calling that one as L11. Just a notation. What is the meaning for L11? X1, Y1 point we have to substitute in the given line equation. That is L11. In the line equation L is equal L, we are substituting the point X1, Y1. Next, by X2, Y2 point substitute in the second X2, Y2 point substitute in the same line equation. Here in place of x I written x2, in place of y I written y2, that's we are calling it as L22. Right? So the line L is equal to 0 divides these two points x1, y1 and x2, y2 in the ratio minus L11 by L22. Ratio is given by minus L11 is to L22. Right? So, if the ratio is positive, observe here, now the discussion, very, very important discussion, all of you pay attention here. We got the information that ratio we got. 
we got the ratio as ratio we got minus L11 is to L22 that is the ratio we got for internal division for internal division ratio must be positive for internal division ratio must be positive once again observe here we got the value of k is equal to minus L11 divided by L22 right for internal division ratio must be positive observe here the line the line divides these two points in the ratio k is to 1 internally or not observe here once again this is the point x1 y1 and this is the point x2 y2 right join these two points but now this is the line this is the line L is equal to AX plus BY plus C is equal to 0. Now here what happens? The line divides the two points in the ratio K is to 1. But now external division. You know, this segment divided by this line in the ratio K is to 1. But external division. Whereas here? The line dividing internally. Okay. So now, ratio positive, the division is internal division. That means, when you will get the ratio as a positive, to get the ratio as a positive, to get the ratio as a positive, yes or no? We have to get the ratio positive. To get the ratio positive, L11 by L22 this total value must be negative this value is negative means when you will get one positive means numerator must be negative numerator negative means denominator must be positive either this case or this case that means L11 and L22 have opposite signs L11 and L22 have opposite signs then this ratio you will get negative. Negative is multiplied with the negative. The ratio becomes a positive or not. So, for internal division, for internal division, L11 and L22 must have opposite signs. For internal division, L11 and L22 have opposite signs. These two are of opposite signs means the total value, that means K value, you will get a positive. Ratio, you will get a positive. Ratio, you will get a positive means internal division. Internal division means for the line, the two points lie opposite side. Not on the first point. L11 and L22 have opposite signs. Then the two points lie opposite side to the line once again L11 and L22 have opposite signs then the two points lie opposite side to the line but next case next case what happens so this case discussion is over L11 and L22 are opposite sign. Then for this line, the two points are opposite sign. Again observe here. Numerator also positive. L22 also positive. L11 is a positive. L22 also positive. Then the ratio becomes this way. This L11 by L22 becomes positive or not? Or... L11 is negative, L22 also negative, then L11 by L22 becomes positive or not? Now, positive term we are multiplying with the minus, it becomes negative or not? To get the K value negative, to get the K value negative, to get the ratio negative, L11 and L22 must have same sign both positive or both negative 
L11 and L22 have same sign. Then the ratio is negative. Ratio negative means the division is external division. You know, this is the external division. In this case, the two points lie same side to the line or not. The two points lie same side to the line. That's why L11 not on. L11 and L22 have same sign. L11 and L22 have same sign. Then the two points lie same side to the line. Opposite sign. Opposite side. Same sign. Then the two points lie same side to the line. That is the discussion of this particular one. So now the question is given like this. The point is given as A 2 comma minus 1 and the point B is given as 1 comma minus 2 and the line equation is given as 3x minus 2y minus 1 is equal to 0. This line divides these two points in what ratio? For that what to do? Minus L11 divided by L22. That is nothing but minus 3 into 2 minus 2 into minus 1 minus 1 that is L11 by 3 into 1 minus 2 into minus 2 minus 1. Now what about this simplification? That simplification is nothing but minus 6 plus 2 8 minus 1 is 7. 3 plus 4 is 7 minus 1, 6. That's why the line divides these two points in the ratio 7 is to 6 externally. That means for this line, these two points are there, same side. Because you can check L11 we got positive, L22 also we got positive. L11 and L22 have same sign. That's why the two points lie same side to the line. That means the line dividing those two points in the ratio 7 is to 6 but externally. L11 and L22 have same sign. This is L11 value 7. This is L22 value 6. Same sign. That's why these two points lie same side to the line. So this is the another question discussion. R is in and the other point is a square comma 2a minus 3. These two points lie same side to the line x plus 3y plus 14 is equal to 0. These two points lie same side to this line. Then range of A he is asking. Find out L11. L11 is equal to 14. Find out L22. L22 is equal to A square plus 3 into 2A minus 3 plus 14 right so that's why a square plus 6a plus 5 so this is l11 this is l11 is 14 and l22 is this one both are same sign this is a plus mean this is also plus this is a minus mean this is also minus that means these are two multiplication must be greater than 0 because he is saying the two points lie same side to the line that's why both are of same sign this is a positive that's why this is also positive so we got a square plus 6a plus 5 must be greater than 0 now factorization a plus 1 into a plus 5 must be greater than 0 you know the number line, this is a minus 5 and this is a minus 1 plus minus plus 
Greater than 0 means we have to consider the positive portion. That's why the range of A, A value less than minus 5. At the same time, A value is greater than minus 1. A value is less than minus 5. A value is greater than minus 1. That is the range of A. So that these two points lie same side to the line. So one more question based on this information. A point is given 3 comma 2. B point is given minus 1 comma minus 2. And P is a variable point on the line 2x plus 3y minus 5 is equal to 0. P is a variable point on the line 2x plus 3y minus 5 is equal to 0. PA plus PB. PA plus PB is a minimum. PA plus PB is a minimum. Then find the value of P he is asking. To get PA plus PB as a minimum value, what are the coordinates of P he is asking? Okay, first of all, line equation given. That line equation is given as 2x plus 3y minus 5 is equal to 0. First of all, I am checking to this line, these two points are same side or opposite side I am checking. Come on, tell me what is L11? L11 is equal to 2 into 3 plus 3 into 2 minus 5. Yes, so that is equal to, you will get 6 plus 6, 7, that value, positive. Next, L22 is equal to 2 into minus 1 plus 3 into minus 2 minus 5. Yes, this is minus 2 minus 6 minus 5. Total we are getting minus 30. L11 and L22 are of opposite sign. Then the two points lie opposite side to the line. Suppose here I am taking one point A3, 2 means the other point must be somewhere here. This is the point B. Minus 1 comma minus 2. Now, what is saying? P is a variable point on this line. Maybe here. Maybe here. Maybe here. Maybe here. Maybe here. P is anywhere. Variable point on this line. P A plus P B. Minimum. P A plus P B value we have to get minimum. PA plus PB value minimum is possible only when that P point must lie on this. This is B point. This is B point. Right? So PA plus PB you will get a minimum value. PA plus PA plus PB you will get a minimum value only when the point P must lie on AB. The point P must lie on AB. That means this is the particular point P. Right? So how to get that point P? Yes. You know how to find out this line equation. Find out that line equation. That line equation is Y minus Y1 is equal to slope into x minus x1. What is the slope of that line? 4 y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Therefore, we are getting y minus 2 is equal to x minus 3. Therefore, x minus y minus 1 is equal to 0. And the other line is given as 2x plus 3y minus 5 is equal to 0. If you solve these two equations, you will get the coordinates of P. So to get PA plus PB as a minimum, the point P must lie on AB. So P is the point of intersection of this line and this line. Right? So very, very good question, the quality question. So another question we will discuss here. It's not a question I can say. So we can say this one as Menelaus theorem.
Menelaus theorem. What he is saying in this theorem is suppose a straight line meets the sides of a triangle A, B, C sides of the triangle BC, CA, AB at points D, E, F respectively. Sir, one straight line. Sir, one straight line. How it meets three sides of a triangle? Yes. Observe here. You know, this is just a minute. How one straight line meets the three sides of a triangle. Yes. That is the extension of the side BC. Now observe here, this is the line. This line is given. Let us say this line is L is equal to 0. That line meets the side BC at a point D. Meets the side AC at a point E. Meets the side AB at a point F. Then he is asking BD divided by DC. CA divided by EA. AF divided by FB. Multiplication is equals to minus 1. This multiplication we have to get minus 1. That is the Menelaus theorem. What is that? A line meets the sides BC at a point D, CA at a point E, AB at a point F, then BD by DC, CE by EA, AF by FB. Multiplication is equal to minus 1. Let us say here this particular point is x1 y1 and this particular point is x2 y2 and this particular point is x3 y3 and we have the line equation is there L is equal to 0. Now tell me what is BD by DC line divides these two points in what ratio? Yes, minus L22 divided by L33 into now the same line divides these two points in what ratio? CE by EA that is given by minus L33 divided by L11. Now the same line divides these two points in what ratio? That is minus L11 divided by L22. Right? Now observe here L33, L33 cancel. L11, L11 cancel. L22, L22 cancel. You will get minus 1 into minus 1 into minus 1. It becomes minus 1 or not? So that is the way of proving Menelaus theorem. Right? So another one we are going to discuss that is Seva's theorem. So this is the other one that is Seva's. What is saying in Seva's theorem? This is a triangle ABC ABC triangle O is any point in the plane of the triangle ABC not on the sides. ABC triangle O is any point in the plane of the triangle not on the sides. So that's why I am taking the point here. That point is given as origin. Origin means you know 0, 0. Now this point is x1, y1. This point is x2, y2. And this point is x3, y3. Now what happens? This AO meets the opposite side BC at D. 
that's why BD divided by DC now this BO meets the opposite side at A then CE divided by EA now this CO meets the opposite side at F then AF divided by FB what about this multiplication that is Seva's theorem once again ABC triangle O is any point in the plane of the triangle not on the sides ok so I am taking O inside the triangle now this is AO meets the opposite side at D BD by DC now this is BO meets the opposite side at E CE by EA next this CO meets the opposite side at F AF by FO those ratios multiplication we want to find out that ratio multiplication I am going to show 1 observe here can you tell me this line equation if you say this line equation the problem is over because this line equation is you know because this point is origin y minus y1 is equal to slope into x minus x1 because one point is 0 comma 0 the other point is x1 y1 now we got the line equation as x1 y minus x y1 is equal to 0 this is the line equation L right now tell me the ratio what happens L22 L22 L33 so observe there I am writing BD by DC is equal to in place of Y we have to write Y2 in place of X we have to write X2 then what happens X1 Y2 minus x2 y1 divided by x3 we have to write then you will get x1 y3 minus x3 y1 that is the ratio with the minus sign right minus l22 by l33 l33 means what in place of x we have to write x3 in place of y we have to write y3 so that is the ratio we got bd by dc now in the similar way tell me what is the equation of the side bo the equation of the side bo is x2y minus xy2 is equal to 0 that is the equation of the side so that is the equation of BO. Now what about the ratio? The ratio is given by minus of, come on tell me. Substitute this point L33 minus L33 by L11. Then what happens? X2Y3. X2Y3 minus X3Y2 divided by X2Y1 minus x1 y2 right next one into what about the cf co line equation the co line equation is given by co come on x3 y minus x y3 is equal to 0 is the equation of the line co now same apply minus of Tell me, minus of first L11 minus L1 by L22. Observe there, X3Y1 minus X1Y3 divided by this point substitute there, X3Y2 minus X2Y3. That is the ratio. Observe here x1 y3 minus x3 y1 
x1 y3 minus x3 y1 but here x3 y1 minus x1 y3 multiplied with minus that's why this minus denominator cancel right next x2 y3 minus x3 y2 but here x3 y2 minus x2 y3 same terms but there is a sign difference that's why this minus this term gets cancelled next you can observe here x1 y2 minus x2 y1 but here x2 y1 minus x1 y2 that's why this minus this total term cancel. We got the answer as 1 into 1 into 1 that is equals to 1. So that is about the discussion of Seva's theorem. Right? So this is the discussion regarding line divides the two points in what ratio and a few applications regarding this. Okay? Bye-bye.